Even in the desolate wilderness or the barren Arctic of Second Life, you can easily search and get somewhere warmer if that's where you want to be. Just click the search button on your toolbar to bring this up, or click it again to hide it. And there's an even more convenient way right up here with the magnifying glass. You can search for just about anything you can think of. For example, one of my favorite words is watermelon. So I can press the enter key or the magnifying glass and look for that. Oops, it's having problems. Let me try again. There we go. We're working on that, by the way. And on the right here, next to any category, you can click and you can narrow down your search. There's different icons to show each kind of item type found, whether it's a profile or a group, more than one, one little head there, a guidepost for places and so on. You can also restrict mature content if you don't want that in your results, if you don't want adult suggestive stuff. But for now, I will show you how I get to a place after I've searched for it. So this place sounds pretty good. PX bits and pieces sounds cozy. I'll click it to find out more information, which comes up right here. If I click the owner link, then it'll show me more information about, ooh, they look kind of like Yoda. May the force be with them. And view full profile will bring up a profile just like this. And I can close that when I'm done reading and go back, just like in your web browser. So I want to teleport here. I'll just go and click and be teleported. A few seconds later, here I am, right at this cozy corner store as it materializes around me. And I can go around. Whoop. See, it looks kind of like the same from the outside. And I'm going to walk. Pardon the wobbly camera. Let me zoom in a bit. And I can see there's watermelon stuff right here, just like I was looking for. You also notice if I go back to search that you can have objects listed to show. It helps find specific merchandise, which is really handy. Now, what we can also do if I close that, or actually, let me show you. These are some of the old tabs because the new search, we make it easier to look for things. But these are other tabs which you can also look for. Let's see if anyone's got any classifieds for watermelon. Do do not too much, but that's okay. Events, public places. And keep in mind some of this is really subject to change, so over time it will look different as we streamline and make things better. I'll give an example too of searching for some sorts of help from the Second Life public wiki. You can browse the web in here too. If you search for something like bugs, and then it gives me a bunch of wiki pages, and I can learn more how to report bugs. So I just give this a moment to load. And there's a lot of possibilities here. Search for what interests you and find it in Second Life. I can, of course, minimize it and bring it out of the way. It can search when I'm still walking around. And there we have it, it's loaded. And then I can read this. And if I don't want that anymore, I can just clear that and press the search button. And when it's empty, it brings you back to the default screen. Enjoy searching.